What's up guys, today we're gonna tell you the difference between Volk Racing TE37s and TE37 SLs. So let's get into the knowledge of Japan Power. In the world of aftermarket wheels, Ray's Engineering is one of the biggest names around. And for that, the Volk Racing TE37 is extremely famous and everyone knows this style. The reason for Volk's extremely popular design is not just this awesome six spoke pattern that it has, it is the way that Volk Racing constructs them. With the majority of wheels out there, including those replica Volk wheels being cast, these are a full one piece forged wheel. The TE37 was one of the first to do a molded forged design. This is what makes the TE37 extremely successful in its sales because it is so lightweight and strong and it's pretty damn sexy. What makes them special is the way the forging is done. The metal is all done in one direction when you are doing the forging process. This isn't done with a flow form or cast design. That's why these are extremely strong. But the real question is, what is the difference between all of these TE37 models? TE37 Saga, TE37 SL, TE37 NWA. There are so many TE37 wheels, and that's why we've taken these out to show you what is the real difference between the TE37 OG wheel here and the very popular TE37 SL. As the name hints, the TE37 Super Lap is a version of the TE37 which is more track focused than the original. The TE37 is already an insanely strong wheel thanks to its design and mold form forged construction. When Ray's designed the TE37, the goal was to shed weight without sacrificing strength. They achieved this by shaving certain areas of the wheel, mostly at the back of the spokes and in the center. The exact weight savings depends on the size, but savings of 400 grams can be found on typical 18 by 10 and a half models. It should be noted that the TE37 SL does not use center caps because the extra machining around the center. You can find center cap adapters which allow for the installation of any type of center cap. However, the addition of center caps will compromise the weight savings and we all know we want weight savings because rotational weight savings is good. The sticker on the SLs are not pre-installed, giving you the option on how you want your wheels to look. Both wheels use Ray's special 100% aluminum blend to further increase the strength. Right here we have the Volk Racing TE37. This is an 18 by 8.5 wheel, and this is the TE37 SL, which is a 19 9.5 wheel. Now most 19s that are bigger than 9, 9.5, 10.5 and, and larger, they have a full reverse lip. Now this is a machined into the forging. It's still all one piece as it is. The biggest difference though, as we said, is on the back side to really reduce the weight. So you can see here on the TE37 SL that they've done these additional machine paths inside the spokes which reduce weight. You can compare that here to the TE37 where the spokes are solid no trimming of any excess material. You can also look at the back pad. There's slightly differences in the machining on how that's done. So overall, visually, there are some differences. Functionally, both are a great wheel. Your luck of finding an OG TE37, probably not as much, but the new TE37 Sagas, the TE37 SLs, are extremely popular wheels that many people run on cars like BMWs, Nissan GTRs, the new Toyota Supra, and many more. Now that I've dropped some knowledge on you guys and you understand the difference between the TE37 and the TE37 SL, you can find more information about these wheels and all the different fitments they carry when you head over to vividracing.com. Hope you guys are 10% smarter now. We'll see you at the next one.